Good morning. Today is October 22nd, Thursday, and we are going to be hiking on the Double Run Nature Trail, which is a beautiful trail with many waterfalls. So come join us. Hi, I'm Dan. And I'm Gail. And with our dog, Hattie, let's hit, hit the, the trail. trail. We're beginning this hike following the green markers the green blazes. It's a beautiful woods, although it's a wet day. We haven't had the best weather, but good for hiking. And down here to the right is a side creek. It's not Loyal Sock Creek, but it's a side creek. And it's running pretty swiftly. It's beautiful. Now we've come down by the creek. Climbing up a little hill. Oh, that's pretty. There's an area here where the creek widens and it's almost like a cave under there. And here we have a small waterfall. Wow. That is spectacular. Now back to the trail here. Bunch of little bridges here crossing the streams. Bridges that way too. I'm up on the bridge, and this is a view from the bridge, one bridge. And the other way, the 
there's more bridges over there. Now we are at the area where the trail makes a loop. So we are going to go to the right. This way. So we stopped at this beautiful waterfall. There's a num there's numbers on the trees. This one says number six, but I don't have anything that tells me what each number is. So we're just walking the trail. But this is gorgeous. We came to number seven, and down there's a beautiful area of the creek. And we'll continue down the trail here. Let's go up this little hill. This is beautiful. I hear it. Good size waterfall here. Going down into a wonderful pool. Got to go up this trail. Go ahead, start up. I'll follow you. Dog knows the way. Pretty steep and narrow here, but beautiful waterfalls. Whoa. And up we 
we go. And here we are at number eight. We can get pretty close to this little waterfall. Oh, there's bigger one back there. Wait a minute, here's a little one. Look back there, Dan. Wow, there's a bigger one. Look how beautiful. There's so much to see on this trail. Beautiful. And we're going up the trail over this big massive tree root. Here we go. Another small waterfall here, and I see a larger one way up there. Let's get up there and see it. Wow, there's a big one up there. Smaller one here. That's pretty. Look how it goes sideways. There's a really big one up there. Okay, keep going. Let's see what we can find.
Such a beautiful waterfall. We're climbing up the hill toward the top. I guess it's more a mountain than a hill. Get up there. Here's the pool of water that the waterfall is emptying into. And here is the here is the top of the waterfall where it starts going down. Almost a cave dug out by the course of the water on the hillside. And the mountain still goes way up there. And we are going this way, following the green. And right away we've come across another waterfall. It's just waterfall after waterfall after waterfall on this hike. Back up the trail. Look at the size of this rock we just walked by. Now here's a double green. When you see two greens or two blazes together, you know it turns. And the upper one's going to the left, so we know we turn to the left and cross this bridge, which Hattie decided to... We're going to cross this bridge. We also see green blazes going to the right. It says Pioneer Road, but I believe we want to turn, I hope so, we want to turn here, cross the bridge, and then we have stairs, huge stairs to go up. Which is better than climbing the rocks on our hands and knees, so we'll do that. I'll see you when we get up. Three very, three very steep sets of stairs. Thank you to the person that built these. We could have never got up the mountain on our hands and knees. And now... We need to continue climbing without the help of the stairs to get to the top of the mountain. So now we are on the back end of the trail. We're up at the top of the mountain, away from the waterfalls, and we're going to start our way back. Probably another mile, but I'm not sure. We'll continue on down the trail. We're at the top of the mountain pretty much, 
and this trail looks so much easier. It's wide, it's flat, and it's not so steep. Still following the green blazes. Really easy trail right here. Oh, finally. We had some treacherous places on the other part of the trail. What goes up has to come down and we are starting our descent down the mountain. The flat place was nice while it lasted. This isn't terribly steep, but it's steep enough that we have to be careful. We're still descending down the mountain. Here we are at number 14. I don't know what we're supposed to see at number 14. But it's going down, down, down. Some really pretty colored trees. Well, let me start my descent. Look at how this tree bent down and then back up. It's a pine tree. Something must have bent it down and then it started growing back up. Another steep descent. Looks like a very steep descent if you got to climb down backwards. Oh boy. <laughs> Can I do this? I don't know. Uh, yeah. And then there's a bridge down there. Okay, let's see if I can get down this. That was steep, had to slide down on my rear. But I made it, barely. How confusing. Green blaze is here, it looks like it goes to the right. But there's also a green blaze that way and also a green blaze that way. We got to figure this out. The green blazes say go to the right. When there's a double blaze, it says turn, and the top one is which way you turn. So it says turn to the right. So now we're heading back, going back on the trail that goes into the loop. So we're backtracking. We got a little confused earlier, but we found our way back. Didn't get confused too long. And now we know which way we're going, and we're getting back to the beginning of the trail where we started. Then we're going to have some lunch when we get back to the campground. We're coming back to the parking lot. We've walked about a mile and three quarters. But it feels like 10 when you're going up and down the mountain. Hey, thanks for coming along. This has been an incredible trail, one of the best we have ever been on. We'll see you on our next adventure.